Imagine a tiny, intelligent machine, no bigger than a small car, launched from Earth nearly 50 years ago, an ambitious leap into the unknown, carrying the hopes and dreams of an entire planet. This machine was built not just to survive, but to explore, to witness wonders no human eyes had ever seen, and to send those discoveries back across the vastness of space. Voyager 2, one of humanity's greatest explorers, a silent ambassador traveling farther than any other spacecraft before it. It flew past Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's dazzling rings, and gave us our only close-up look at the mysterious blue worlds of Uranus and Neptune, planets that, until Voyager, were little more than distant smudges in our telescopes. After its historic planetary tour, Voyager 2 just kept going, venturing into the vast, silent expanse between the stars, where the sun's warmth fades and the darkness deepens. It has left the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere, and now drifts in true interstellar space, where the sun is just another star among billions, and the nearest neighbor is unimaginably far away. Voyager 2 carries a golden record, a cosmic greeting card from Earth etched with music, images, and messages, a hopeful gesture to any distant civilization that might one day find it and wonder who sent it. As of July 2025, it's over 12 billion miles from home. Light itself takes more than 18 hours to reach it. The distance is so great that every message sent or received is a journey through time as well as space. Every signal is precious, a fragile thread connecting us to our most distant creation, a faint heartbeat echoing across the cosmic ocean. For nearly 50 years, NASA's dedicated team has kept this connection alive, guiding Voyager through the unknown, listening for its faint transmissions and celebrating every new discovery. But in the summer of 2023, that connection was suddenly, terrifyingly lost, a silence that echoed the vast emptiness Voyager now called home. The whisper from the void went silent, leaving only questions and a sense of profound distance. And for a moment, humanity's farthest explorer was alone in the dark, a solitary traveler drifting through the endless night, waiting for a sign that it was not forgotten. On July 21, 2023, a routine command was sent to Voyager 2, but hidden within that command was a tiny, almost imperceptible error, a two-degree tilt in its antenna alignment. It was a mistake so small, it could have been overlooked a thousand times before. On Earth, two degrees is barely a shrug, but across the unimaginable gulf of billions of miles, that minuscule shift spelled disaster. The difference between connection and silence. The antenna, now misaligned, no longer pointed home. The communication link, our only thread to Voyager 2, was suddenly and completely severed. NASA's deep space network strained to listen, its massive dishes sweeping the sky for any sign, but all they found was an unyielding silence. Imagine calling a loved one lost in a remote wilderness and suddenly, the line goes dead. That's the dread that settled over mission control, a sense of helplessness and loss. Voyager 2 wasn't just a machine drifting in the void, it was humanity's only outpost in the vast, uncharted space between the stars. It carried our hopes, our questions, and our curiosity. The urgency was immense. How do you fix a problem on a spacecraft that's almost a light day away with no way to see or touch it? The challenge was unprecedented. No mechanic could be sent. No human eyes could peer through the darkness to diagnose the fault. The vast emptiness offered no clues. Only physics, ingenuity, and a stubborn hope could coax a response from the silent wanderer. Every possible solution was debated, every scenario imagined. The team faced a monumental challenge, one that tested the limits of human creativity and perseverance. The clock was ticking, and the vastness of space had never felt so imposing, so cold, or so final. Every hour of silence risked losing irreplaceable science, precious data that could never be recovered if the connection was lost forever. The world watched and waited, breath held, united in hope for a sign of life from the darkness. Would Voyager 2 ever speak to us again? Would our message reach across the void? The answer, if it came, would arrive as the faintest whisper in the cosmos, a fragile thread of hope stretching across the stars. In the days after the silence, a heavy uncertainty hung over the mission. The mission team refused to give up, driven by a sense of duty and hope. Their first task was clear, find out if Voyager 2 was still alive, somewhere in the vastness of space. Using the Deep Space Network's giant antennas, they listened intently for any sign, scanning the darkness for a whisper of life. For days only static filled the receivers, 
an endless hiss that threatened to drown out hope. But the team knew that even a misaligned antenna, drifting in the void, might leak a faint signal if they listened hard enough. On August 1, 2023, the Canberra antenna in Australia detected it, a whisper buried in cosmic noise almost lost to the universe. It was a faint carrier signal, too weak for data, but undeniable proof that Voyager 2 was still powered on and transmitting, against all odds. The team called it the spacecraft's heartbeat, a fragile pulse echoing across billions of kilometers. Hope surged through the control room. Voyager 2 wasn't dead, just lost, waiting to be found. The problem shifted from a terrifying mystery to a solvable engineering challenge, and the team's determination only grew. Now the task was to send a command that could reach the misaligned antenna and bring Voyager 2 home, a message that had to be perfectly timed and precisely aimed. The team had their target and a renewed sense of purpose filled the room. The spacecraft was healthy, just disoriented, its systems intact, its journey not yet over. The next step would require a bold move, a shout across the stars, a leap of faith into the unknown. The mission was back in play, and the world watched as hope was rekindled. The race to reconnect had begun, and every second now mattered more than ever. With the heartbeat signal found, the team devised a daring plan, an interstellar shout. They used the most powerful transmitter in the deep space network, the 70-meter dish in Canberra, to blast a corrective command at Voyager 2. The message reorient your antenna toward Earth. The command took 18 and a half hours to reach Voyager 2, then another 18 and a half hours for any reply to return. 37 hours of agonizing anticipation. Then, in the early hours of August 4th, 2023, the deep space network locked onto a strong, data-rich signal. The shout had worked. Voyager 2 was back, streaming science and telemetry data, antenna pointed home, cheers erupted at mission control. Against all odds, humanity's distant wanderer had returned to the fold. The connection was restored. The mission could continue. The interstellar shout was a triumph, but what if it had failed? The original Voyager engineers had planned for this, building in a failsafe. If Voyager 2 went too long without hearing from Earth, it would automatically reset its orientation once a year. The next reset was scheduled for October 15, 2023. If the shout hadn't worked, the team would have waited in silence for months, losing precious science. Thanks to the recovery, only a couple of weeks of data were lost instead of months. The mission's designers had protected Voyager from being lost to a simple error. The race wasn't just to save the spacecraft, it was to save the science. Every day of silence was a day of discovery lost. The quick recovery was a victory for both engineering and knowledge. The 2023 crisis was sudden, but Voyager faces a slower challenge dwindling power. Its nuclear batteries, called RTGs, lose power every year. When launched, they provided 470 watts, now less than half remains. NASA's engineers carefully ration every watt, shutting down non-essential systems to keep the mission alive. Some instruments now operate in cold far beyond their design, just to save power. Each shutdown is a bittersweet choice, balancing science against survival. The goal keep Voyager talking to us into the 2030s. It's a managed decline, extracting every last drop of discovery. The team is rationing the spacecraft's life force, prioritizing communication above all. Every decision is made with the mission's legacy in mind. The end is inevitable, but the journey continues. Power conservation means saying goodbye to Voyager 2's senses, one by one. Each instrument is a unique window into interstellar space. In March 2024, the plasma science instrument was shut down, a major loss, but necessary to keep the mission alive. More farewells followed, like the low-energy charged particle instrument in March 2025. Each shutdown narrows our view of the cosmos. The team plans these sacrifices years in advance, weighing every watt. It's a poignant reminder all journeys end. Yet every bit of data Voyager sends is now more precious than ever. The spacecraft's resilience and the team's dedication are a testament to human ingenuity. Even as its senses fade, Voyager's legacy grows. Why does Voyager 2 still matter? Because it embodies our unquenchable curiosity. It's the only probe to visit Uranus and Neptune, rewriting textbooks and revealing the unknown. Now, it's our only direct window into interstellar space. 
The mission story is one of ingenuity, overcoming failures, dwindling power, and the vastness of space. The recent crisis showed the brilliance of both current and original teams. Voyager teaches us that with collaboration and perseverance, we can solve the impossible. It inspires us, connects us to the cosmos, and carries our message, the golden record, into the stars. Whether it's ever found is beside the point. Its true purpose is to remind us of what we can achieve together. Voyager is a symbol of our potential, a tiny light in the infinite night. Its journey is our story, written across the stars, and its legacy will outlast us all. Voyager 2's journey is our journey, a perpetual voyage into the unknown. One day its power will fade and its voice will fall silent, but its journey will continue, drifting through the galaxy for millions of years. Long after we're gone, Voyager will remain, a relic of humanity's curiosity and hope. The golden record it carries may be the only evidence we ever existed. Its recent challenges aren't failures, they're the marks of true exploration. Voyager's story is a lesson in persistence and ingenuity. Even when a connection seems lost, hope and creativity can restore it. Voyager is our eyes, ears, and messenger in the cosmic ocean. Its survival is a daily miracle. Its decline, a reminder of time's passage. It is our most distant wanderer, our silent ambassador, and a source of endless inspiration. Voyager beckons us to keep looking up, to keep asking questions, and to never stop exploring. The cosmos is waiting.